Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. And this time we are covering Octane Lighting for physical base rendering. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop in Suzanne and a ground plane. I'm going to size up my ground plane so that we have more of a surface to work on. And I'm also going to reorient Suzanne so that she sits on the floor better. Next, we're going to turn on Octane and we're going to turn, uh, we're actually going to turn it off and give it a power of zero. I'm also going to delete the current light and the camera just to give it a clean environment. And we're going to start dropping in the point light first to see if it works. Slide it over to the side, bring it up. Now we have to use use nodes. That's how we activate the lights. And you can tell that the point light becomes a tune light. So keep that in mind. It doesn't quite work with physical base rendering. Next thing we're going to do is going to do sunlight. And we're going to go and do the same thing by activating by using nodes. And that one uses a tune directional light. So that doesn't work. Now they work for tune shading, of course. I'm going to move a spotlight over and let's see what that says. Not supported. So spotlight does not work in Octane. Of course, there's another way to do that. I'll show that to you later. Now we're going to use an area light. Activate it by using nodes, and you can see that the area light shines on the ground. Resize it. And we can change the power right here to increase the intensity. And we're going to go to mesh lights. Move it over. Use nodes. Oh, actually, the first thing we're going to do is select a mesh. We're going to use Suzanne as a mesh. And then use nodes. And you can tell that right now Suzanne is the emitting light. Last, we're going to bring in sphere and see how that works. Use nodes again, and it works. So in summary, there's really three light types that works for physical base rendering. The sphere, the area light, and the mesh lights. So we're going to go into the shader editor, and you can tell that we can control the lights through the, well, yeah, the shader graph editor. And that's the same way we apply materials to geometry object. So that gives you a hint that you can do all of this through geometry and not through light types. Actually, right now I am setting up an area light. I'm going to show you how to create a spotlight using area lights and not the regular spotlight in, in uh, Blender. Okay, so we set it up like normal by using nodes and in the shader editor, I'm going to turn up the power to make it a little brighter. Well, now that we turn up the texture color to white, we bring down the power. And I am going to apply a spotlight node. That's how you make your area light into a spotlight. And we're going to apply it to distribution to control how the light is uh, coming out. Set it to surface node. 
I mean, so, sorry, set it to surface normal. Change the cone angle. And we can change the hardness through the hardness slider. And that's how we set up a spotlight. And of course, we can um, move the area light around, changing its orientation. And you can see that um, it's projecting the light based on surface normal. So what I want to do now is create a mesh version of the sphere light by bringing in an ecosphere, icosphere, and bringing in a sphere light. And what I want to do is compare the two to see if we see much of a difference. Right now I'm sizing them, making sure that they're roughly the same size or exactly the same size. And you can see our light, our sphere light is brought in and I'm gonna copy this setup and bring it over to the geometry sphere. I'm going to paste, I'm going to create a new material, delete the universal material and paste in what I copied from the light. And it created another light source. Now you see the power is different. It's not exactly the same. You almost have to turn up the power uh, for this to get it to match. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. This looks pretty close. Now when you spin the viewport, try to pay attention to how well each one resolves. Is one going faster than the other? They look pretty close to me. So in that sense, the light source is nothing more than a geometry with a material applied to it. The same as if you took a geometry and apply material with an emission node attached to it. Now when I'm spinning this around, I think it resolve a little bit. It seems like the light source has less fireflies. Not only less fireflies, but if you look closely, it does seem like the light source is slightly more optimized, but not by much. It does seem like there's more fireflies around the sphere geometry than the light source geometry. So I, I kind of, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to say the light source itself is slightly more optimized than the sphere. But whatever you end up doing, if you want to use geometry for your light source, or if you want to just bring in some type of uh, blender light uh, that's uh, provided and use that as a light source, you can go either way, but try to be consistent. Otherwise, you're going to give yourself a lot of headache trying to balance out the light settings between the two light types. And that's it. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try to answer them. And in the meantime, I am going to cover tune lighting in my next tutorial. Thank you.